Trump's financial outlook is looking a little bit rougher than it was perhaps 24 hours ago because we've just found out according to some great reporting by Reuters that his massive accounts are about to come due with Deutsche Bank if he loses. The German lender is apparently seeking to cut ties with Trump after the election according to three senior officials talking with Reuters just yesterday. Deutsche Bank could seek to sell or demand repayment of about $340 million in outstanding loans to the Trump organization. These are apparently against Trump properties and they start coming due in the next two years. They're personally guaranteed by the president, which means that in theory, his properties could be seized to pay for it. Again, that's in theory, he's rich, we'll see. But apparently the thinking goes this way in terms of how Deutsche Bank is going to manage the future. One idea that has come up in meetings, sell the loans in the secondary market according to two bank officials. But one of the officials said the idea has not gained traction in part because it's not clear who would wanna buy the loans mm -hmm. and the attendant problems that come with it, which makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they apparently believe that if he's not in office, it'll be easier to force him to pay, which again, that seems to, that makes sense. So the New York Times had a fascinating piece about how Donald Trump had secured his first loan from Deutsche Bank in order to pay for the Trump Tower in Chicago. And then it became abundantly clear that he wasn't gonna pay that loan back. The economy took a hit, he was, that, that building had Condos in it that he was trying to sell for four million dollars a pop, and you know the 2008 recession happened, and he was uh, and construction was incredibly slow, uh, was not going as scheduled. I mean, it was one disaster after another because he bungles everything. That's what Trump does, and so what ended up happening is Deutsche Bank realized that he's not like he's defaulting on this loan, and what Trump likes to do is threaten people with lawsuits. So mm -hmm. he claimed that he was the victim of a predatory lender, Deutsche yeah. Bank, and started dragging this case out in court. In the process of all this happening, Trump secured another loan from Deutsche Bank, $90 million. So That's look, how predatory they are. I mean, exactly, <laughs> they're not predatory, we know that. But what usually happens with these types of lawsuits is, number one, it's extremely expensive when the person suing you uh, is intentionally dragging the case out. And Trump is a high profile person and Deutsche Bank didn't want the negative PR that comes along with it. Because if, if he's claiming that they're being predatory, and then Deutsche Bank responds publicly and says that's not true. He mm -hmm. can then tack on defamation charges or yeah. defamation on that lawsuit. Um, so I'm giving you all of this because Deutsche Bank totally wussed out in the past. And you know, there's a lot of big talk now, like, oh, we're gonna make them pay back. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll see it <laughs> when it happens. But yeah. my guess is it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I just want to see if that's actually what officials from Deutsche Bank talk like. It ain't gonna happen. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.